Hello there and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an online grocery delivery through HEB.com. This means that groceries will arrive right on your doorstep. You won't have to go to the grocery store, won't have to go to HEB, and you can still shop for the things you need. So first of all, we're going to open up the internet and we're going to go up here in our address bar. Whatever browser you use will have this address bar. So go up here where it currently says google.com and we're going to go ahead and write in heb.com where that is and hit enter. That's going to take us to HEB's website. Now once we're on HEB's website, there's a few things that we want to make sure are accurate right away. The first thing is we're going to want to make sure that our address is correct. So right here it's going to say delivery at and then an address. If this isn't your address or it's not the HEB that you normally use, you're going to want to go ahead and click on this. So let's click on it. Now, this particular address has delivery times that are full. If you see this message, just go ahead and come back to this website a little bit later on because this will change as the work gets done. For now, this isn't my correct address, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new one. When I click add a new one, it takes me to deliver to new address, and this is most likely what you'll be seeing. So go ahead and come here, and then we're going to type in what our current address is. I'm going to go ahead and use the address of another one of my favorite local businesses, 3005 South Lamar. Now, if you didn't notice, as I was typing that in, it started to give me suggestions here. If you see your address pop up in these suggestions, no need to type the entire thing in. You can go ahead and click right on it. As soon as you have ensured that your address is accurate, go ahead and click Select Delivery Address. This is going to pop up a little window that's going to ask us when we want these deliveries to happen. So it's going to be a little more in the future than we'd like because of the demand, but we can put it in for the soonest possible time. So right now, that's looking like it's Tuesday, April 7th, and it's going to be 3.30 to 4.30 p.m., and it tells us the $5 delivery fee right here. Say we know that we'd prefer Wednesday, or we'd prefer a different time of day. We can select Wednesday, and you see we have now all of these options. So let's say we prefer Wednesday, and we'd like it to get here in the morning. So let's go ahead and select that 1030. Once this address is correct, this is your preferred date, and this is your preferred time. Go ahead and click Schedule Delivery right at the bottom. Once we do that, it's going to refresh the page and you'll be able to see your accurate information reflected here where we clicked earlier. Great, now that's done. Now we're going to go ahead and make sure that we're registered to shop. Now, if you've done this before, you'll be able to log in with your information, but since this is our first time visiting the page, we need to register or create an account. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the word register here up in the upper right hand corner of the website. Once I do, it's gonna ask for a little information. It's gonna ask for your first name, it's gonna ask for your last name, and it's gonna ask for your email. So let's go ahead and type in our email. Then it's gonna ask us to create a password. Now, I recommend that you write down this password as well as the email you're using on a separate sheet of paper that you keep close to the computer. That way, you don't have to memorize it and you'll always have it handy. It has a few rules for us here. It wants it to be at least eight characters long. It wants us to use at least one number, and it doesn't want us to use spaces. So to make this easier, so we're not typing in and only seeing the black dots of secrecy, we'll go ahead and click show right here. That will allow us to make sure that our password, we know exactly what it is as we type it in. So I'm gonna use this as a demo password, and this fulfills the requirements. It's at least eight characters long, it's got numbers in it, and there's no spaces. If you'd like, you can click hide again here and show if you'd like to remind yourself. Now, you can keep this button checked. This is basically saying that you're going to get coupons and information from HEB. You don't need to keep this checked. If you'd prefer not to have extra email from HEB, you can uncheck it. Same goes for the phone number, totally optional and exact same situation. If you'd like coupons sent to your phone, you can go ahead and type in your phone number. If you'd prefer that coupons not be sent to you, feel free to leave that blank. As long as you have a name, an email, and a preferred password, you can go ahead and click Create Account. 
Now, once we've hit our Create Account button, it's going to welcome us, and we can just hit Start Exploring. Again, our information here is correct, and if you'll notice, up here, instead of saying Login or Register, it now says Hi. It knows we're here. So, let's start shopping. There's three ways that you can do this shopping. One is with the Shop button right here in the middle. Now, you can hover over this without clicking, and then you can continue to hover, no need to click, over any of these different areas. Say we know we're looking for some milk, we can hover on down to dairy and eggs, we can come over here to milk, and then we can click. Once we do, we'll get taken to the milk page. And I know this looks like a lot, but we can go ahead and just look visually at what we normally would pick up. I know for me, that's probably going to be some 2% gallon. So I want this to add it to my shopping basket. I'm just going to hit add to cart. When I hit add to cart there, it's going to let me know that one has been added. And as soon as I do that, we can actually see it reflected over here. This little shopping cart icon, this is my total price. This little one here is the number of items I have in it. That's the milk. And right here on the right, we can see this gallon of milk has been added to our cart. Now, Say we decided that we'd like to stock up, we'd like a few gallons. Well, all we need to do is hit the plus sign right here. It's going to change this to two added, and you'll see that reflected over here in your quantity and your price. Let's move on. I'll show you now the second way to find what you're looking for. Now, you can also click on shop. Instead of hovering, you can click on it, and that will take you to this. If you're a more visual person, this might be helpful. So say next up, we know that we'd like some ground beef. So it's right here, meat and seafood. We can go ahead and click on the image or on the words, doesn't matter. That's gonna take us here. Again, we're looking for ground beef. We know that's gonna live under meat. So let's click that. And we'll just keep clicking visually based on what we're looking for into beef. Now we're here on the ground beef page. Again, visually, you can kind of see what you might be used to buying. I know for me, that's these rolled up pounds, and I prefer 80% lean, 20% fat. It's in the image here, and it's also in the description here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my cart. I think I'd like two pounds of that. Oops, it looks like I accidentally added three. Well, no fear. To get that back down to two, all that we need to do is hit this little minus sign. Hitting the minus sign will remove that one and bring it down to two total. Say we decide that we don't want this at all, we can go ahead and click that minus sign two more times and make it zero. You'll see it disappear from over here in your cart and you will not be ordering it anymore. But for now, let's go ahead and add those two. We can see it over here and we can see it in the price. All right, now let's look at the third way to find something you're looking for. The third way is the search bar. Now, no matter what page you're on on here, whether you're on uh, a product page like this, whether you're on the shop page that's a little more general, or the home page, no matter where you are, this search bar will be here. So let's go ahead and type in what we're looking for. Let's say we want some peanut butter. Now, as we're writing in peanut butter, you can see it starts to make suggestions here. If you see the thing you're looking for in here, you can go ahead and just click on it, and that will take you straight to it. If you'd like to do some browsing, you can click on peanut butter, and it will take us to a page that matches anything with peanut butter in it. Now, say we didn't want to let it autofill, but we wanted to find it in a different way, well, you can also write in what you're looking for and hit enter here instead of clicking. Either way will take you to a search page with your results, and from here we can again select what we like. Let's go ahead and add one of these Peter Pans to our cart. Okay, now you know how to shop. To recap, you can do it in three ways. You can either hover over the shop button here, hover over the section, and click into it, or you can click on shop click visually to follow what you know you'd like. And finally, you can go up to the search bar here and type in what you're looking for and hit enter. Obviously, it's not going to find results for that, but if I tried it with eggs, 
it would work. Now let's say that we're done shopping. We've added everything to our cart that we know we want to get delivered and we're ready to check out. Well, at that point, we're gonna go ahead and come right back up here to where this cart was that we're keeping track of how much our order cost. And we're going to click it. When we click it, it's going to take us to our cart. Now, I wanna show you one thing. You will get this little notification here. This says, due to high order volume, we've temporarily enabled substitutions on all items. When possible, we will substitute out of stock items in your cart with similar items. This is just saying that because of the high demand on groceries right now, they might have to switch out the thing you're looking for with something that's close to it. It will give you options later to make sure you're still happy with the potential substitution, but don't worry about this. We're still going to, by and large, get what we're looking for. Now, we can look over the items we have in our cart at this point. Say we've decided, you know what, I only need one gallon of that milk. Remember the plus and minus? We can go ahead and click minus here to get that down to one. We'll immediately see the price change and reflect that. If everything here looks accurate to you, all you need to do is come up here and click start checkout. You can ignore this. This is just letting you know that you should know what you want before you continue because due to the high demand, they can't add things to your cart later. But if we know this is everything we want, let's go ahead and click continue. If it's not, let's click close and continue shopping. For now, we'll move ahead. Great. Now, once we're here, you might get this pop-up that I have. Feel free to dismiss this if you'd like. Once we're here, it's going to have all the details. Over here, it's gonna let us know our subtotal of what the items cost. It's gonna let us know they have a $5 delivery fee, but also it looks like that delivery, delivery fee is currently being removed. It's also going to include a driver tip for the kind and brave souls who are driving around right now bringing groceries to our doors. Now, right here, you can leave a note for your driver. Say, you'd like them to know that you have a gate code or you'd like them to leave it a few extra feet from your door. Whatever you need to do, you can go ahead and type it in here. Gate code 1234. Now, this little section here says leave items at door. This is temporarily required for all orders. This is to keep everyone safe and apart from each other. So no matter what, they're going to leave your items right at the door and send you a message. That's why this time is important between 10.30 and 11.30 because knowing that that's when your groceries will arrive will allow you to make sure you can go get your cold things and perishables away from your doorstep as soon as they arrive. All right, scrolling down, we can make sure this is accurate. It should be based on our registration, our orders here, and if we'd like to increase our tip, let's say we'd like to increase that a little bit more Let's go ahead and take it to seven, seven dollars. We can write that in right there. We can even add a little note and click save now to make sure they get it. Now, as far as how do we pay? Well, we're gonna pay using a debit or credit card. And to do that, you just click add card. Now, once you're here, just go ahead and pull out your card info and you're gonna go ahead and type this all in. Now, I'm not going to use a real card for the purpose of this demo, so it might not let me proceed, but we're going to do the best that we can here. I'm going to type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 3. I'm going to go ahead and type in, type in our name, the little three-digit security code that's on the back, the month and date that it expires, and if we want, we can give it a nickname my card. Now we're just gonna go ahead and type in our address one more time. Select our state here and put in our zip code. Once we're all done we can hit add card. Now this is the one problem with my tutorial is that it won't let me add this card because as we can see, it's a very fake card. So let's go ahead and pretend that this card was placed in. At that point, you'll see it reflected here. I'm seeing one thing that we missed. My apologies. 
we do need to include our phone number here. So again, this is going to be a fake phone number. But once we save that, we have our phone number. And the reason we're putting that in is so that they can shoot us a text message to let us know when our groceries have arrived. So once that phone number is in there accurately, you can go ahead and click place order. Now I am getting this message that I can't because a credit card is required and that's obvious we need to pay for it. But all other things considered, this is exactly how you would do it. You can shop this way, you'll come to your cart, you will enter in any notes you need to leave, you'll make sure your phone number is here, you'll add your card information, and then you'll hit place order. At that point, you'll get a confirmation and you'll know that your groceries will be delivered on April 8th between 10.30 and 11.30 a.m. or whatever time that you've chosen. Now that we've done this, I want to quickly show you how to return should you accidentally get signed out. So I'm going to go ahead and sign us out just for the purposes of this and go ahead and come back to HEB.com. Say we've already registered, we know we have an account, we need to log in, we come back here, if instead of seeing high name up here, you see this, go ahead and click log in this time. Now, your email should automatically appear if it doesn't type it in and type in that password from before. In our case, it was HEB online one, two, three. Then we'll click log in. After we do that, we'll be right back here. We'll see our name and we'll see the correct address. And at this point, if we're placing a second order, we can click in here and we can go ahead and select whatever day we'd like for our new order. At that point, the process continues as normal and we'll keep on shopping. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Shop safe, be safe. Thanks everyone.